welcome back to our nature field trip videos with the Bean Museum guys. We are going to be looking at magnification today, okay? So mainly what we're gonna be using is a magnifying glass. Uh, this one is a 100 times magnifying glass, a 100%. So we'll be able to see it a lot larger, but any magnifying glass that you can find, sometimes you can find them at like the dollar store or even a giant magnifying sheet or even your grandma's reading glasses, those are all magnification. You can use those to look at something really close, but be sure to ask your grandma first. You also can use a phone or another electronic device. You can just go to your camera and use your camera on there to either zoom in while you're looking at it, or you can take a picture and zoom in afterwards, whichever you prefer. So there's a couple different ways that we're gonna be looking at things and magnifying them to get a closer look at things that we couldn't see with the naked eye. All right guys, so the wonderful thing about using a magnifying glass is that we're gonna be able to see things that we might not be able to see very well with the naked eye. So we're gonna look at three different um, objects. We're gonna look at this butterfly right here. We're gonna look at this cool little snake and we're gonna look at this pine cone, okay? And we're gonna see what we can observe uh, just using a magnifying glass that maybe we weren't able to see with our naked eye. So let's start with the pine cone. All right, so first things first, we're gonna look at this pine cone right here. Now a lot of parts on the pine cone we'd be able to see with our naked eye. Uh, and when we say that, it means that we're not looking with any use of a binocular or a microscope or a magnifying glass. It just means that we're looking at it just with our eyes. And we would be able to see a lot of things on this pine cone, but we're able to see more details on the pine cone. So maybe different spots where the coloration is slightly different or um, where shapes are slightly different. So that's something to observe between uh, what you're seeing with the naked eye versus a magnifying glass. Next, we're gonna look at our little snake here. This one's pretty cool because he's such a little snake that it's a little bit hard to see all of his scales. Uh, but when we look at it with a magnifying glass, we can see them really nice and big. We can get a really good look at those scales and see the texture of this snake that would have been a little bit tricky to see before. Now we've got one more specimen that we're gonna look at, guys. This one's super cool, the butterfly here. It might be kind of hard to see on video, but if you ever look at a butterfly close up with a magnifying glass, you'll actually be able to see that the wings are covered in little tiny scales, similar to the snake. They have little tiny scales all over their wings that actually form the colors. So it's really easy to see in between spots where it changes from one color to the other. So between like the blue and the black, you can see tiny little dots those are the butterfly's scales. It can be really cool just to kind of observe different body parts of the butterfly and see what kinds of things uh, you can see with a magnifying glass that you couldn't see with your eyes alone. So go ahead and just start checking out some things that you might be able to see with a magnifying glass. Things, new textures, new um, parts of an object that you weren't able to see before. Okay, everybody, for our activity today, we're gonna to be using our magnifying glass skills to take some really good observations. So what we're gonna ask you guys to do is find a way to magnify. So like Marion said, if you don't have a magnifying glass, you can use your phone or some reading glasses, anything like that, and try to get up close. And we want you to use that to draw with some greater detail and just take your time. So I've kind of done that today. I've used our magnifying glass and I've taken kind of an up close image of Tara. We took some videos of Tara, some pictures, and also just held up the magnifying glass. So I'll show you what I did and kind of explain my notes. Okay, we're gonna be making our observations. Again, we've seen this tarantula before when we were talking about making observations in our first video. So let's take a close look. You guys can see we're, what we're looking for is distinct features that we want to draw. So what I'm noticing is that Tara has lots of fur on the outside of her body. And that fur is also kind of white on the ends. Her little feet, the tips of her legs are a different color. Her body has a little bit of shine in the middle. Her eyes are so, so tiny, so little. And she has spinnerets on the back of her body. I can also write down a little bit about her behavior that I'm looking at up close. For example, noticing that if I move my hand a little bit, she'll move up those front feet and kind of keep them out so she's aware. 
So these are some of those small details that we're looking for as we use our magnifying glass. All right, everybody, so these are my notes in my field journal. You guys can't see my drawing too well, but that is okay. My drawing isn't great for me. Again, these are my notes, my field journal. I'm not the greatest artist, but I use my magnifying glass so I could take better notes about Tara, about our tarantula. So I have bigger notes about her body. I said her body is light brown, blonde, and a mix of black hair on the outside of her body. I noted about the colors of the spinnerets and kind of how the legs change color, how at the bottom, the bottom tips of her feet are a much darker color than the rest. And I also was able to observe some of her behaviors much closer. So I made a note about how normally she's really calm, but when she is nervous, she immediately pops up those front feet to kind of feel around her surroundings. So these are some of the notes that I took and with a drawing as well to talk about Tara. So hopefully you guys are gonna be able to take some really good observations, comment, let us know what you guys observe, keep updating your field journals, and we'll see you guys next week.